Hey everyone, this is 777 Die Hard Forever coming at you with another model. This is a classic one. I bought it on January 29, 2014 from Troy's Toys in Overland Park, Kansas. This was the last Pan Am model that uh, he had. And I went on and purchased it. Like I said, he hadn't had it for about almost a year. Uh, I just kept looking at it and looking at it and I just went on and got it. Uh, this is a Gemini 200 747 SP. The SP stands for Special Performance. This aircraft, uh, this was the longest range uh, model, the longest range aircraft they had till the 747 uh, 400 came along. Uh, I think it seats like 330 people in a three class section. Uh, and this is the uh, Pan Am uh, Billboard Library. They had another version, he, he sold out of that one. Uh, that one's pretty much hard to find, but this one here you can pretty much still get. But if you ain't got it, you probably want to get it because this is a classic you want to add to your collection. So with that said, I'm going to go off into the details with this model. This model they start they stopped flying this model in 19 stopped making this model in 1989. There's still a few airlines are still flying this model, but Pan Am, you know, they're not in business no more. It was a great airline, but they use this on most of the uh, Middle Eastern routes. So with that said, here we go. There's Dan that came with it. This is the back of it. And now, I'm going to show you the model. There you go, folks. That's I'm gonna bring it up closer. I kind of like it. I was attracted to the uh, the bottom of the fuselage. I'll show that in a minute. There you go. That's the front of the aircraft right there. Uh, fifty. It means fifty years. Flight fifty. Then there's Clipper Young America. Then there's the uh, big billboard uh, Pan Am Livery there. The big billboard there then there's the uh, registration number in November 533 Peter average in 533 PA and then of course yo there's the infamous uh, Pan Am logo and then there's the American flag on the uh, tail pretty awesome there and uh, there's the engines there Engines do turn. Turn. Then there's the APU in the back. And then there's the side over here. Pan Am local. Then there's the uh Registration number, and then there's the rear door, uh, N533PA. Then there's the uh, rear container cargo door. I didn't see the boat bend door on this one. Uh, I didn't even see the boat bend door on this aircraft. That's okay. Then there's the uh, engines on this once again. Pretty nice engines. And then there's the Pan Am Billboard Library, the big. There's the windows, the windshield wipers, pretty awesome there. Then there's the uh, front uh, cargo container door. Then there's the uh, tail lights on the uh, wing. And then there's the, uh, the registration number on the gear, 533. And then there's the, uh, the lights, the gear lights in there. You can barely see them, but they're there. 
Now I'm getting ready to show you the bottom of the fuselage. Real shiny fuselage. SP stands for special performance. Then there's the gear, the antenna. There's another antenna. Then there's the beacon light. And then there's the gears there. The antenna is pretty shiny. Uh, pretty shiny livery. Uh, bottom of the fuselage. Pretty nice here. And uh, not great. Put it on the stand. There you go. It didn't stay on there that gray, but it's on there. So, with that being said, pretty beautiful. Wow. Now, the top of the uh, aircraft, you know, you know they, Boeing is known for the distinctive hump. Uh, there's the beacon light, then there's the antenna. There's the illuminating light there. There's a light on that side. Of course, you know, they didn't have those wingtips on this aircraft like the 747 400s. This was before that time. That shiny live ring. We'll, the, the, the gears don't tilt on this one, folks. So, now, probably have a little problem with the stand, but other than that, the model's great. You no, know, if you if you if you can get this model, this is this is a classic. You know, anything uh, with Pan Am or TWA, pretty well worth investing. Um, with that being said, this is all I have for this video. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like what you saw, please rate and subscribe and leave your comments. I'd love to hear from you. In the meantime, take care. God bless.